So before we get to the review, um, after doing the video, I sort of Googled a bit about this game. I should have done that before doing the video, I realise that. But um, Sean McManus, who designed this game, he's got a website and he talks a little bit about this game in it, actually. I'll put a link to the website. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's a little bit about the history of the game. It's supposed to be on the Amstrad Action cover tape. And I won't go too much into it because, you know, you can read it for yourself. But even he acknowledges that this game was difficult, you know, from the first level. And there's apparently... Uh, I don't think it's a remake, but kind of it's been rejigged. So that first level has been moved further along in the game so that it's not so difficult from the get-go. But yeah, um, like I said, I'll put a link in the description box. Go and have a look at the website and have a read about it. And on we go to the video itself. Hello, this is 8-Bit Rach and welcome to another Amstrad game review. It's been a few weeks since my last video. Have you missed me, kids? So, yeah, I've been busy with work and whatnot and lost my motivation a little bit, really. But, yeah, just start to catch up with people's streams and videos and that now. I've got, got my mojo back now, so I'm going to start working my way through people's requests. Uh, this isn't a request. It's just a ROM that I found while I was looking for some games to play. It's called The Further Adventures of Fred. Never heard of this. Um, it says it's 1989, so... Yeah, I don't know why I've never heard of it, actually. Maybe it wasn't, you know, one of the big games at the time. Oh, shit. Hang on. Right, up. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, the keys are very sensitive. I right, just literally tap and up, down, oh. Up, down, left, right. Okay. I mean, you literally just tap them very lightly. This doesn't bode well if I can't get off the bloody redefined key menu, does it, Jesus? So, looking at that, it looks fairly basic. Um little bit of music there. I'd expect probably something a bit more fancy for 1989, but let's have a look at the game. Any key. So yeah, oh shit, fucking hell. Jesus, that's a bit bloody urgent, isn't it? Okay, look, can I just move? Oh shit. Right, okay, I'm safe there. Fucking hell. So, right, you have to collect all these, these tokens, I suppose, and avoid the enemies. And as you can see, they go at a fucking pace. Jesus Christ. Oh. But they seem to follow a set path. Just keep going, basically, till they hit something. Yes. So it is ve Oh, you bollocks. Ah, it's crashed. Did it say something on the screen there then? Oh, oh shit. I've gone and reset this now. Oh, there might have been a glitch. So that's bloody great, isn't it? Past the first level and it crashes. Ah, I just noticed it said on the hints there. Um, said on the screen there. Right. The only way is up as a hint to get off the first screen. Right, well, let's have a look. Let's try that. Oh, shit. Right. Oh, that worked. Like I said, the keys are quite sensitive, so just proceed with caution. I do like the expressions on his face as he moves along. Oh, shit. So... It is very basic looking. Okay. 
Oh, fucking hell. All right, and I fell for it, of course I did. I do like that, actually. Oh, you fucker. It's just the thing, it's kind of... Oh, shit. Ah! Obviously, they keep going until they hit something, so if you remove a tile, you can kind of change their course. And if you lose a life, you kind of start back. You start exactly at the point you died, so oh shit. So, um... Oh. So you just got to be careful with this, it is. Ah! Shit, ah! Right. Oh, God. Bloody hell. This is tricky, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, you bollocks. Toot and come in. I like it. So, do you know what? I'll leave it there. You get the idea. Um, it's, it's a nice, colourful game. The graphics are nothing special. But, you know, I think as a quick... You know, for a quick blast for a few minutes, it's quite a good game once you sort of get the gist of it. Basically, in that first screen, don't stand still. Just move. Um, It it could do with just being slowed down just a touch, do you know what I mean? Um, But the premise of the game is simple. Just collect the tokens, avoid the enemies. Like I said, it's all right for a quick blast. I'm not sure how many levels there are. Uh, but I can imagine if they're going to get more difficult as they go along, then fucking hell, you can only imagine, can't you? So, yeah, that's the further adventures of Fred. I'd say give it a whirl, actually. It's, it's, it's worth a few minutes of your time. So I'll leave that there. Thank you very much for watching and take care of yourselves. Try now.